making faces. During any penetration test training, you will encounter the five paces of hacking. Uh, okay, this, the first is recon science. Uh, recon science. Uh, second is scanning. Third is um, gaining access. Uh, for the maintain uh, maintain uh, attaining access and the last phase is covering tracks uh, reconstance and information information gathering the reconstance or information gathering phase is where the attacker focuses on acquiring meaningful information about their target this is the most important phase in hacking. The more details known about the target, the easier it is to compromise a weakness and exploit it. There are the techniques uh, used in reconstance phase here. Okay, let me write this here. Um, the first is using search engine to gather information uh, using social networking platforms forms uh, performing google hacking performing google hacking performing D dns interrog interrogation performing dns interrogation uh, and last the social engineering uh, engineering here so, uh, in this phase, uh, the objective is to gather as much information as possible about the target. In the next here, we will discuss using a more directed approach is scanning. The second phase of hacking is scanning. Uh, so, scanning involves using a direct approach in engaging the target to obtain information that is not accessible via the reconstance phase. So this phase uh, involves profiling the target organization, its system and network inf inf infrastructure. So there are the techniques used in scanning phase here. The first is checking, uh, checking for any uh, live systems, uh, checking, checking for firewalls and their rules and their uh, rules. Uh, checking uh, checking for open network uh, ports checking uh, for running services uh, checking uh, for security vulnerabilities vulnerabilities and lastly creating Network creating a network topology, topology of the target network. This phase is very important as it helps us to create a profile of the target. So the information found in this phase will help us to move on to performing exploitation on the target system network or network. Gaining access here we have uh, we will now discuss about here. So, this phase can sometimes be the most challenging phase of them all. In this phase, the attackers uses the information obtained from the previous phases of, uh, to exploit the target. Upon successful exploitation of vulnerabilities, the attacker can then remotely execute malicious code on the target and gain remote access to the compromised system. There are uh, uh, kind of core uh, on once access is gained here for example password uh, password cracking exploit exploiting vulnerabilities this uh, it is here and escalating escalating privileges and hiding files and lateral movement Yeah, lateral lateral action, not later. Lateral here. Yeah. 
Gaining access exploitation phase can at times be difficult as exploits may work on system and not uh, on another. Once an exploit is successful and system, is, uh, access, uh, system access is accurate, the next phase is to ensure that you have a persistent connection back to the target. Uh, here we have maintaining access and covering tracks. Here, let's delete this actually. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. Maintaining access. So, after exploiting the system, the attacker should usually ensure that they are able to gain access to the victim's system at any time as long as the system is online. So, this is done by cracking backdoor, creating back, uh, creating backdoor access on the target and setting up a persistence reverse or bind connection between the attacker's machine and the victim's system. The objectives of meaning access uh, are here, maintaining access are lateral movement uh, here, uh, lateral movement, uh, ex exfiltration of data, exfiltration of data, uh, creating, creating back door and persistent connections. Uh, so maintaining ac access is important to ensure that you, uh, the penetration tester, always have access to the target system or network. Once the technical aspect of penetration test is completed, it's time to clean, uh, clean up uh, the network. And the last phase of penetration testing is covering tracks. The last phase is to your cover tracks. This ensures that you don't leave any traces of your presence on a compromised system. As a penetration testers, uh, we would like to be as undetectable as possible on a target's network, not triggering any alerts while we remove any residual traces of the actions performed during the penetration test. Covering tracks ensures that you don't leave any trace of your presence on the network as a penetration tester is designed to be stealthy and simulate real-world attacks on an organization. And the summary. So during this course, uh, during this uh, lecture of our uh, ethical hacking course, we discussed the different types of hackers while outlining their primary characteristic. Uh, so uh, the various types of penetration tests and phases we are covered, including an exploitation of a popular testing methodologies and approaches used in the cybersecurity industry. You are now able to compare and contrast the different types of hackers. You have gained knowledge and understanding of various terms used with the cybersecurity industry. And you have got uh, to grips with the importance of uh, and different phases of penetration testing. So you are able, able to distinguish between various types of penetration testing, such as network, web, and even cloud penetration testing. 